do you have a passion for bananas? Join us as we embark on a journey to explore the world of banana farming. We will share tips and techniques that will help you not only enjoy the joy of gardening, but also become a skilled banana grower. You'll surely be impressed by the banana production process here. At the Dizon family's banana farm, every step is carried out professionally and systematically. The banana plants are carefully selected, protected from pests, and fertilized precisely, achieving a yield of 55,000 pounds per acre. Any seedlings that don't meet the standards are removed to focus on those with high potential. Do you want to uncover the secret behind those delicious bananas? Join me on a magical journey where the earth and people come together to create wonders. After being planted, young banana plants require special care. Fresh, cool water will nourish them, helping their roots grow strong and spread far. Let's cherish the values that the banana plant brings. Together, we will explore each magical stage in the banana planting process. Did you know that pruning the grass in a banana garden can directly impact crop yield, boosting growth by up to 30%? This task not only keeps the banana garden neat, but also helps prevent pests and insects. Would you like to visit this farm? If so, leave a one in the comments. Let's enjoy the refreshing green space and share the joy with the farmers as their banana plants grow strong and bear sweet fruits. To achieve a successful harvest, cutting the flowers from the banana plant plays a crucial role in boosting productivity. When done correctly, flower cutting can increase banana growth by up to 20%, resulting in larger, tastier fruits. This process helps the fruit absorb energy from the mother plant more efficiently, improving its ability to support weight and providing nutrients for the next bunch of bananas. Join us as we step into the most anticipated moments of the day, the banana harvest.
After nine months of careful nurturing, the bananas have ripened to a golden hue, ready for harvest. To protect the fruit from insects and weather conditions, bagging each banana is a crucial step. This ensures the quality is maintained and meets the standards at harvest time. You'll be amazed by the craftsmanship of artisans as they transform banana trunks into exquisite creations. Join us as we explore this creative journey. You'll be amazed to know that Ecuador is the world's leading exporter of bananas. Every week, the country exports up to 9 million boxes of bananas, totaling 468 million boxes annually. These bananas are harvested from fields spanning over 500 kilometers, stretching from the south to the north. The harvest and processing process requires great care starting with cutting the banana bunches and lifting them onto a cable car, then transporting them to the processing plant for cleaning and packaging. Have you ever experienced the sensation of floating in mid-air? on a cable car. Share your unforgettable memories with us. Let's explore an exciting application of banana fibers. When woven together, fibers from banana bark create a strong, versatile raw material used in various industries. Not only that, banana fibers are also used in traditional handmade products such as bags, mats, and hats, adding a unique beauty and aesthetic value. Using banana fibers is not only a significant step toward environmental sustainability, but also lays the foundation for diversity within the industry. These fibers are known for their strength, flexibility, and durability, making them a valuable material for many applications. The creativity in utilizing banana fibers has opened up new opportunities driving both industry and communities towards greener development. We've journeyed through the life of a banana, and now we've reached the final destination, where the banana becomes a delicious snack. At Platanillo's factory, carefully selected bananas are cleaned, sliced thinly, and fried to perfection at the ideal temperature. The result is golden, crispy banana chips that retain their natural flavor. What makes Platanillo special is that they don't use preservatives or artificial coloring, ensuring that each fried banana chip is not only delicious, but also a healthy treat for the whole family. Did you know these banana fibers can be turned into some surprising products? That's right. They can even make paper. 
The remaining parts of the banana stalk, after extracting the liquid, are dried and transformed into unique handmade banana paper. Next, let's explore the amazing benefits of aloe vera. The gel from aloe vera leaves is a fantastic moisturizer that helps soothe and soften dry skin. Its anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties promote healing of small wounds and provide effective skin care. In addition, Aloe vera is used as a hair mask or conditioner, helping to rejuvenate hair and soothe the skin after exposure to UV rays. Do you know how the delicious crispy fried banana chips are made? At the Banano Delights factory in Costa Rica, the production process is carried out with meticulous care and precision. The carefully selected bananas are washed, then sliced into thin, even pieces about 3 millimeters thick. Next. They are fried in hot oil at 170 degrees Celsius, creating golden, crispy banana slices with a rich, natural flavor. Not only does Banano Delights meet domestic demand, but their crispy banana chips are also exported to over 20 countries, with annual revenue reaching 10 million USD. With superior quality and a unique flavor, they are gradually expanding their global market. To ensure healthy growth, farmers frequently till the soil so that the roots remain well aerated and prevent waterlogging. While bananas require regular watering, aloe vera needs a large and stable amount of water to thrive and grow strong. Farmers will pull out small plants and weeds to focus on taking care of the larger ones. After about six months, the aloe vera plants will be ready for harvest. In the factory, the aloe vera branches are washed and processed by cutting off the ends. The aloe vera pulp is then extracted, creating the final product. If you'd like to learn more about these special crops, leave a one under the post.